Altai represents the official designation for Turkey's forthcoming main battle tank. This title pays tribute to the renowned leader of the Turkish Cavalry Corps. It signifies Turkey's initial indigenous initiative in creating a main battle tank since 1943. In 2007, a local company named Otokar was granted a contract to conceive and manufacture four prototypes. The debut prototype was unveiled publicly in 2011 and was subsequently utilized for testing purposes. By 2016, Turkey confirmed its readiness to embark on the production of this novel tank. An agreement was targeted for signing in 2018 to produce a total of 251 Altai tanks spanning three primary versions. The production was earmarked to initiate in 2021. Yet, substantial challenges related to the tank's engine and transmission materialized. Turkey faced difficulties in producing these components domestically, and foreign nations declined sales. This led to years of negotiations for securing these elements, which impeded the finalization of the tank's design. Ultimately, in 2021, Turkey reached an accord with South Korea for the provision of engines and automatic transmissions. This breakthrough allowed the delivery of the first production Altai tanks to the Turkish army to commence in 2023. The Altai main battle tank adheres to conventional design principles. While it incorporates some technologies from the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, it diverges as a distinct creation rather than a licensed rendition of the Black Panther. The Altai also exhibits design characteristics reminiscent of the Leopard 2, a tank employed by the Turkish Armed Forces. The central armament of the Altai MBT is intended to feature a 120mm-L55 smoothbore gun, an iteration of the rainmetal gun. Comparable guns are deployed on the German Leopard 2A6 and 2A7 tanks, as well as on the South Korean Black Panther tank. The main gun is supplied with roughly 40 rounds of ammunition. Readily deployable ammunition is stored within the turret's bustle, equipped with blowout panels, while remaining rounds are housed within the hull. The tank is outfitted with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, a roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun, and a roof-mounted remotely operated weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The Altai MBT is equipped with an advanced Vulcan fire control system and battlefield management system, developed indigenously by Aselsan. This company also supplies fire control systems for the upgraded Leopard 1 MBTs within the Turkish Army's inventory. The Altai incorporates a target acquisition system with a hunter-killer engagement capability. The vehicle commander employs a panoramic sight integrated with thermal imaging to identify targets. Once a target is designated, the gun aligns automatically, and the gunner finalizes the aiming and firing process, while the commander identifies the next target. This engagement procedure is a common feature in modern main battle tanks. Operated by a crew of four, the Altai includes a commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Initially, the Altai prototypes were equipped with a German MTU MT883 Ka501 turbocharged diesel engine, generating 1,500 horsepower. This German engine was optimized for tropical and desert conditions and was initially mated to a German rank automatic transmission. However, political factors resulted in Germany withholding the supply of this engine and transmission. Despite assertions of using a domestically produced 1,800 horsepower engine, Turkey struggled to develop such an engine. In 2014, there were discussions about obtaining a production license for the Japanese Mitsubishi HI-8VA34WTK diesel engine used in the Type 10 tank, but Japan declined to transfer the technology. In 2017, a memorandum of understanding was signed with Ukraine for the integration of an uprated Ukrainian 6TD-3 diesel engine with 1,500 horsepower. However, technical issues prevented the use of this engine. Ultimately, a contract was established in 2021 with South Korea's Doosan Infracore and SN Dynamics for the provision of DV27K engines and EST15K transmissions. These components, originally developed for the South Korean K-2 Black Panther tank, 
produce 1,500 horsepower and have 6 forward and 3 reverse speeds. The tank's maximum road speed is set at 70 km per hour, and it can be equipped with a deep wading kit, enabling it to ford water obstacles up to 4.1 meters deep. Distinct Variants, Altai AHT, this prototype version is optimized for urban combat, featuring explosive reactive armor and a sloped wedge-shaped turret. Cage armor covers the rear portions of the hull and turret, and a front-mounted dozer blade is included. Altai T1, the baseline production variant resembles pre-production prototypes. A planned 40 Altai T1 tanks were intended for construction for the Turkish army. Altai T2, offering increased protection and an improved situational awareness system, the T2 variant could potentially refer to the Altai AHT. Plans were to produce 210 T2 tanks for the Turkish army, with deliveries expected after the Altai T1. Altai T3, this technology demonstrator boasts an unmanned turret and a bustle-mounted autoloader. A lone prototype is slated for qualification in 2024, designated for trials and technical evaluation. Armored Recovery Vehicle, a forthcoming version based on the Altai T1 hull, envisioned as a recovery vehicle, with 60 units projected for procurement. Mine Clearing Variant, another future iteration, involving 50 armored vehicles either built from the ground up with Altai hulls or Altai tanks equipped with mine clearing attachments. Leopard 2A4 with Altai turret, in 2021, BMC presented a modified Leopard 2A4 tank chassis incorporating the integrated Altai turret. This approach was pursued as Turkey encountered production difficulties for the Altai due to engine and transmission issues. With over 300 X German Leopard 2A4 tanks in operation, Turkey considered upgrade programs for enhanced capabilities.